So are you getting enough lutein? Probably not. And I know this because of one, published science and statistics, and two, MPOD testing. MPOD testing is a common eye test we have here in the eye clinic and helps us measure what is called macular pigment optical density or MPOD. And I can tell you that indeed most people do end up failing this part of the eye test. And unfortunately, if you do score poorly on it, it means that your precious eyes could be at high risk of age-related health problems and decreased visual performance. But you may be wondering, what does this MPOD test have to do with how much lutein I'm getting? So in today's video, I'm gonna break down how lutein can improve your scores on an MPOD test and what this means for your eye health. Now this may be the first time that you've ever heard of lutein or this MPOD testing, but in reality, both eye doctors and researchers have known about the benefits of lutein for the eyes for a long time now. And that's why this video I've partnered with OmniActive Health Technologies in their consumer awareness campaign called Lutein for Every Age to help really highlight the benefits of lutein for health, especially when it pertains to the eyes. Okay, so what does lutein do inside of the eye. Well, this lutein, along with this other carotenoid pigment called zeaxanthin, when digested, these travel to the eye and deposit in an area of the eye called the macula. And I like to refer to the macula as sort of the bullseye in back of the eye, because this is the area that gives you your most precise vision, your ability to read, recognize faces, and see colors. And this lutein, along with these two forms of zeaxanthin, there's an isomer called the RR zeaxanthin and another one called RS or miso zeaxanthin. These are found in extremely high quantities in this area of the eye. In fact, it's really cool that in mother nature, there's over 600 different carotenoid pigments and only these few are found specifically in the eye and at a concentration over a thousand times greater than what's found just in your bloodstream. And this is huge for eye health because these pigments essentially work as mother nature's own natural filter against high energy light. And considering that lutein is sort of this yellow orange color, they are especially effective at filtering and protecting against blue light. And not only do they help filter harsh light from affecting the eye, but it also plays a major role in reducing oxidative stress, which is a huge player when it comes to aging of the eye, including that of cataract formation. In fact, lutein is the only carotenoid pigment that's been found to reduce the risk of cataracts. Okay, so now that we know what this lutein does inside of the eye, where does this MPOD test come in? Again, MPOD stands for Macular Pigment Optical Density. And it's basically a test that we perform to help measure the density of this lutein and these different isomers of zeaxanthin depositing inside the macula of the eye. And thankfully is a test that's widely available. So don't be afraid to ask your local eye doctor if they have MPOD available at your next eye exam. Okay, so what happens if you get a bad score on the MPOD test? Let's say you came into the clinic, we ran this test on you, and like many people, your scores were pretty low. Well, unfortunately, lower MPOD scores are associated with a poorer health status of the retina in the back of the eye, and are frequently seen in people who go on to develop age-related macular degeneration. Whereas people with higher MPOD scores are often associated with having higher visual function, including correlations with improved contrast sensitivity, decreased glare, disability, as well as decreased problems with photo stress recovery. So here in the eye clinic, if you did score low on an MPOD test, usually your doctor will first talk about eating more lutein-rich foods, and secondly, they're probably gonna recommend taking a lutein supplement because research has shown that we can increase this macular pigment density just by taking supplementation. Unfortunately, while Eating more lutein-rich foods is often recommended. We know this often does not result in significant MPOD changes. As a 2021 research uh, meta-analysis did show that through dietary changes alone, we only saw up to about a five milligram change in serum lutein. So while I personally still do advocate for people to eat more lutein-rich foods, we know that it just doesn't result in significant MPOD changes, if at all. 
Now, again, despite this information, I personally do recommend people focus on eating whole, healthy, lutein-rich foods first. And that's because we know these types of foods have other health benefits for the body, but also most people don't even get the minimum recommended amounts of vegetables in their diets to begin with. But it is pretty clear that in the research, supplementation with lutein does result in better MPOD scores and improvements in eye benefits. With studies showing about a 30% increase in MPOD scores after taking about 10 to 20 milligrams of lutein over the course of three to six months. All right, so after learning all of this, what if you want to improve your MPOD scores? How do you do that? Well, to learn more, I suggest checking out my previous video where we went over not just how lutein affects vision specifically, but we also went over diet and how to find a good supplement. And I'll suggest checking that out. I'll put a link over here to the side. Otherwise, I do want to say thank you for watching and for OmniActive for supporting us and including us in their consumer awareness initiative. Otherwise, again, thank you so much. Keep an eye on it, and we'll see you in that next video.